okay so let me uh, take this tutorial to the forward okay so here i'm gonna change first of all the background uh, this background color i mean the icon color okay to the white and then i'll change the text color and the background color okay so for the one for that one you need to come here into the drawable then click on this one and select here white however you can change it, uh, you can um, make any color but here i'm going to make it as white color okay so let's put it to the white and inside the record click on this one and then make it white right so we have uh, these but uh, these icons in white icon okay and apart from that i would like to also change the i would like to also change the, you know the color of the text and the background color so for that i need to come into values folder and then open color.xml i need to create here the two color values so the first color value would be uh, the text color and then another one would be a, a background color right so the color and the name let's say the color uh, text okay close this one and of course the next one uh, the next one color would be color background okay so for the text color what i want to set here let's come back to the color style and let's say for the text color i would like to put the deep orange okay so no 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 for the text color i would like to put uh, you know um, let's see the gray color shall i put like gray color okay so let's put a gray color okay so here i would like to put here deep gray color okay so let's put it with uh, at least 900 intensity okay so with at least 900 intensity and uh, then come here so that's the text color and of course for the background color i would like to put it as a uh, white okay shall i put it as white okay so let's put it as white six time f okay now i need to go back into the activity main xml file and inside this floating action menu i need to change here menu labels text color okay so you need to write here the text colors menu labels text color so that text color is color text okay and apart from that i want menu labels color normal okay i want here menu labels color normal so for that one menu uh, what you can say here the labels okay the color normal so here menu labels color normal uh, let me put it as let's say the color background okay and uh, apart from that let's put the menu uh, underscore labels color pressed i mean when i press the button so let's put accept color okay when i press the button uh, now let's run this application and see what would happen okay it is installing the application let it finish it great so now click on this button now you'll see the background color is white okay and there is a shadow background color is white and text color is a dark gray color and uh, you see this this is really you know the looking great this this one is really fantastic now if i press here you see here 
that's the that is here color pressed color accent okay you can change this to any color okay it is up to you okay this is really looking very great okay and if i press here it will automatically close it now let's move forward and uh, now i would like to go into the main activity.java file so inside the main activity.java file first of all that i need to create the object for our action menu and the floating action button so here i want to write here the floating action menu and for this one i am going to say here floating action menu and then i want floating action button okay floating action button that's uh, you can say the first one i think the first one was which one is first one mm, the first one is a photo record and then edit you can say the edit record and the photo okay so the first one is the edit and then you know record and then photo perfect now i need to create here you know i need to reference these here from here itself so first i need to reference the floating action menu and then the type cast to the floating action menu find we by id and then floating action sorry uh, r dot id dot you know the floating action menu and then i want for the edit oh sorry this one is the button i have typecasted it wrongly i want here menu and then edit is equal to the floating sorry uh, the floating action button and then find v by id r dot id and then i want here the edit okay and the similarly for the photo photo is equal to floating action button and then find v by id r dot id dot photo and then here we want the record is equal to the floating action button and then find v by id r dot id dot record okay so now we are done with our referencing we have got the reference for all those four buttons now let's move forward while we click on any of those three buttons so first we want the edit dot set on click listener new on click listener as usual okay we have been doing this throughout our video tutorial series so let's put the toast here so inside the toast you need to you need to however the open here camera intent but this is just a material design tutorial so i'm going to show you in the form of the toast so you can see here photo clicked okay and then the next one is the photo dot set on click listener new on click listener and then you can write here the toast and then here you can see of course this is the edit so you can see the edit and then you can see here photo click right and then we have edit photo and finally we need our record okay so the record dot set on click listener new on click listener and then we want the toast okay we want here toast right and then we can say here record clicked okay command option and l of course it is automatically realigned so nothing reformatted so let's click on play button it will install new application in the emulator and now we can see inside our emulator if we press any of these three buttons a respective toast would be shown there okay so let's see in emulator let it install this application first see if i click on photo photo click record clicked and the edit clicked perfect it's 
it's a perfect now let's change the position of this action menu you can do it very easily as i have already told you from here okay so let's remove this one and uh, let's make it to the false okay so see here now this, this one is here and uh, if i make it as the true and i make it as a left let's say okay so this is the true now you can see here this is aligned to the left side and if i um, make it let's say the top okay so if i make it at the top right and let's make it to the right the true okay now let's take this to the upside okay so that can be done the direction to the down okay see now if i play this one okay this will install new application and you will see see this has changed the position I press on edit record and the photo right I mean this is really great if you see this one you can change click on anywhere okay see okay i have pressed many times that's why it is coming okay one by one if i press on the photo again the photo clicked and here the edit clicked okay so i think uh, i have covered almost everything about this floating action menu now you can uh, customize as you want this one so thank you so much for watching this video tutorial and subscribe this channel so that you can get update directly into your inbox whenever i make a new video on android designing okay so bye bye, have a nice day.